Next up on the Sage 2021 Showcase, we have Vertical Collapse, Ghost in the Machine, Sage 2021 demo. This was added by Lamplighter Studios, and it states in the description, a digital pinball game with an inverted twist. A menacing ghost has hacked the machine. Find the portal to its domain and take it out. So we're going to play a digital pinball game that is also possibly kind of a creepypasta? Of sorts? <laughs> uh, it's it's just seemed really out of nowhere, like out of left field sort of game. Really caught my eye. Uh, so I want to check it out because I like things that are different. And this sounds very different. Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do you think about giving it a like? And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. If you really want to help out though, come on by Twitch. Whether you want to lurk or talk, I would really appreciate your attendance. I can, I'm trying to reach partner, but I need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, hang out, that literally is just amazing and I would really appreciate it. Um, we also have a Discord community if you want to talk with other cool people besides me. And uh, I have a coffee ad now if you want to check out the link to that and, uh, you know, throw a few bucks my way if you like so that, you know, it's up to you. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. I'm going to say right off the bat here, before I even start the game, I have a comment to make. This music is a little poorly recorded. Now, keep in mind, I'm, I'm going to start with a critique, but this is, going to go, this is going somewhere. It's slightly poorly recorded. I noticed it breaks its levels a little bit here and there. That's where, when the sound bar peaks too high. Uh, but I actually really like it. Uh, it's apparently a song called Hacked, and I think it's just made for this game. Um, as far as I can tell, this is just being directly recorded off of an actual guitar. The levels peaking kind of clues me in that it's just kind of an imperfect recording. Imperfect, but really good. <laughs> like, this is, this has some fucking soul, man. I like it. Um, uh, anyways, let's check it out. Ooh, whoa, 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 that slides all over the place. Alright. New game. Turn back. Flesh cannot prevail here. My minions will not be stopped. Hmm. Ooh, more music. So there's multiple songs. Okay, this is, uh, oh, this, look at this art style. I, I like this. <laughs> okay, so what are my, yep, okay. But I guess I hit the green thing. It's like a circuit board, but also a pinball machine. I'm decent at pinball. This is a very somber guitar. I like it. Well, I broke that. Probably a good thing. Oh. This has good physics. I don't play a ton of pinball games, even though I'm decent at them. But I could say that this definitely feels good. Oh. There we go. Inverted. Okay. What style of what style of music would you guys say this is? Somber kind of dark moody guitar. It's good stuff. You don't hear it in games very often. Well, I'm playing better than I expected actually. Competent but not normally stellar. Yet I'm doing pretty good here. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh. Ooh, that warps bad. Okay. <laughs> I, I figured we'd lose the ball eventually. That was... Honestly, it took longer than I thought. <laughs> ah, I got rejected. How rude. Uh oh Oh, is that a bad one or a good one? That one's okay.
Got a free ball. Make up for the one lost. That's good. Oh no, it is. Oh shit. Lost the ball. <laughs> he wants my system. I gotta stop him. But for the power of pin Oh shit! Yeah, here. Ah, oh, damn! I hate when I do that. Worst thing in pinball, but you know that you can't get the ball that's slowly falling down. Oh, shit. Okay. Now it's getting down. The oh, God. He always gets in the way. All right. Oh, what the hell was that? There was some thing in my way. All right, I got him. Oh, I was supposed to hit him. Okay. Take that. Uh oh, shit. The hell? <laughs> Uh, oh. Oh, I went to... Thanks for playing. Stay tuned for full experience. Oh, wow. I... I hold on a minute. I kind of want to... So I guess that's the end of it. I guess I couldn't... There's, like, multiple directions I could shoot the ball, though. This is weird and cool. This is... I'm actually going to go another run, because... There's options to shoot multiple directions there. I was wondering, what happens if I shoot other ways? That's it. To be fair, Epic, I actually played really well. Not perfectly. But I think I I think I kind of how to put it? Blind speedrun slightly? Wow, yeah, that's definitely See this is this this is what I more expect when I play pinball. Like not playing poorly exactly, but having some bad luck here or there. Or just bad reflexes occasionally. Or bad luck, yes, bad luck. Oh, so I could technically have flipped that. So yeah, sometimes I have first run prodigy skills. I don't know how I do it, but it happens sometimes. Oh my god, stop. Go back. Well, and then sometimes this happens. This is more, this is more the experience I usually, I'm used to with pinball. It's actually quite surprising. Wow. See, again, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, I don't know, man. Explain my skill level. I don't know, under, I don't even understand my skill level of video games. Because it doesn't make sense. I guess pinball is a little luck based, though, to be fair. It's a mix of luck and reflexes. Yeah, this is one of the more perplexing gameplay sessions I've had. Because the level of skill I presented early, but not late... It's, it's weird. Normally when you play a game, you get better at it as you go, but not the other way around. This seems to be the other way around for me here. Or just bad luck. <laughs> just bad luck happens. I am, uh... I don't know, I'll, I'll try to get to the end a second time, just because, but... Can we all agree that this is really cool? You got Essler over there? Or something? No? Why? Why bring up Essler? <laughs> I wonder where he is actually. I wasn't sure if he's gonna watch the stream today or not. 
I don't have a lot to comment on. This game presents itself well. Wow! Again, bad luck and pinball is a thing that I usually experience here and there, but... Like, my skills... like That's just... that We're, I'm, we're experiencing... Wow, I, suddenly I just can't beat this. What the hell happened here? Alright, there. Well, I do have to say, I don't, I'm not really fond of the warps that just destroy your ball. I guess pinballs do have that sort of dickishness. Well, okay, cool. Ball saved. Oh, well, there is a ball save feature. That's good. Basically, if you lose a ball really, really fast, some pinball machines will go like, all right, all right, you can have a do-over. appreciated feature. <laughs> Did you see that? That was great. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Clean loop-de-loop -loop around what I wanted to hit. Oh, and then we lost the ball. Yeah, again, I have stupid, weird luck with pinball, apparently in both directions, I guess. Because first we had stupid, weird luck where I just beat it without any- without even really trying. I didn't have a perfect run, but it was pretty close to that. And now we're having a run where it's the opposite, where everything goes wrong. And my reflexes suck a little bit, because things are going wrong. There. I don't know if I could do it with one ball, but who knows? I really don't, so... I really don't know. Ooh. It's actually a very difficult pinball route, looking at it. So I noticed one thing, there's actually a warp there, and I don't know what... Oh. So that's what happens if you go on the warp, you go to the other table again. Huh. Is that a bad thing, or a good thing? I was, like, kind, of, I was kind of curious what happens if we hit the warp rather than killing the guy. I guess he's unleashed though, so he'll just attack us, right? Or do I have to go back to that table? No, he's right there. So I could just kind of hang out up here and wait for him. He kind of gets in the way, so... I'm not too concerned about missing him. Again. Yeah, he'll come back. It's best I not go down. The higher up I am on this table, the less likely I'm going to die, so... So I don't hit that terrible warp right there. There we go. <laughs> One ball in a dream, apparently a good dream. So, okay, one last time on this thing. So, we got said, I think that what we have here is a level select of sorts. We beat the circuit board, the green one filled in. But then we got the, all these other ones too, which... Wait, actually, hold on. Circuit board, YouTube video, controller, phone, computer, headphones. I don't... 
I don't entirely know what's going on here, but I'm gonna guess this is sort of a level select. Can I shoot myself upwards, though? Damn it. Okay, well. Apparently not. <laughs> but, uh, this was really cool, though. Let's look at the credits. It, it moves on its own, so it's hard to time. This is intriguing. So, music mixed and recorded by, uh, Samo Samoy? Samoy? I can't read this. For some reason, digital, cl digital clock font messes with my brain a bit. This is really cool, though. I want to see where this goes. This might be really worth playing in the long run. Um, it, it does have a little bit of bullshit here and there on the table, but... As we were seeing in the second run. Which I feel is a fair emulation of the experience. Um... It'd be nice to know which warps you enter and which one you exit from. I agree, Creature. The black and white art style is really cool, but it does add a few issues, such as not making it clear what's an entry warp, what's an exit warp. Also, it would be... I noticed some warps don't don't kill you and some do. It could be kind of nice if the warps that killed you had their own, like, color, like, red. And it's like, oh, that's a red warp. If I go in there, I'll, you know, I'll lose a ball. Like, it'd be... That, that visual information would be nice. I do like the art style, though. So, maybe instead of a color-based informational thing, maybe add some symbols on top of the warps to make it clear what they do, or whether they're entry or exit warps. Since there's only a black and white color scheme here, you can't really add colors to... Well, you Hello, can! I am here. To, oh, hi, Genokase. Thank you for thank you for the... thank you for the ten dollars. Um... You can add colors, though, technically. Because, you notice, there were a few colors, just a few, to give you your objective. It was obvious, like, hit the green thing. It's the only thing with color. Um, so there can be some color usage here and there. Um, but, yeah, or you could just add a skull on top of the warps to kill you. Like, something like that would be fine, too. But also, yeah, a little bit more uh, graphical conveyance of information would be good. Uh, either through the use of a few more scant colors. I think red and green are good counterparts. If you got a bit of green in your game, a little bit of red to indicate danger is not a bad idea. Just a thought. Uh, those are two good counterpart colors, and if you just want to use those sparingly here and there to indicate information, maybe that would be a good idea. Um, but, yeah, that was Vertical Collapse Ghost in the Machine. This is really neat. We're, I'm going to keep an eye on this if it goes around. I don't know what future plans are or where this exactly is going to go or how big a game it's even going to be, but I am legitimately interested in this. Uh, this is really neat. Honestly, that's all I have to say.